Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Kuda. Today I'm going to be working on the gas pedal. We're changing over from a um, an old cable type gas pedal to an electric digital pedal. And there's a little bit of a situation with the bracketing and the geometry. So I'm going to get out the uh, pedals and things like that from the transmission kit. So that way we can get that stuff mounted. And then we can come up with a solution for this pedal. Get it mounted up in there and make sure they're all even. So I'll show you what's going on with this pedal here in a second, and then we'll get going. So here's what we got for the new pedal. We've got this uh, resistor potentiometer type thing here, and then this is the gas pedal. It looks like that. It's all like a plastic assembly. And then uh, it's got this, it's got this uh, bracket that it attaches to that Maybe it's supposed to go to the firewall on the challengers and things like that. And um, so one of the problems is this base right here is a little bit too big to mount up inside the car to begin with. Um, our wiring harness and bundle and stuff would be right in this area. So uh, I think what we're going to do is take, we're going to mount it without this weird base on it. So we'll take this base off. And then basically this is going to go straight onto the firewall. Uh, so it would be like, it'd be like that, you know, bolt to the firewall. That would be our, that would be our gas pedal right there. But when we put it on the firewall, we get a geometry of about like that, sticking straight out. So um, we're going to have to fix it and... What some of the other people I've seen do is they'll they'll use they want to use the the original gas pedal and so what it looks like what you can do is you can cut this off here you can cut this off here and then you can mount you can mount the the pedal there and then You'll get better geometry for the uh, better geometry for the gas pedal. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to cut this off. And uh, what I've got here are some U bolts, and I had to grind them out a little bit because they uh, they didn't totally fit on here. But now now they fit fit pretty well on there onto this uh, shaft here so what I'll do is I'll I'll cut this off and then I'll cut this drill into here and put a u-bolt with two nuts on the other side we'll put it in two places to hold that bar on there and then we'll seal this all up with PRC which is a uh, like an aircraft uh, sealer that'll keep it real nice and tight so what I want to do is I'm going to take out the stuff for the um, transmission uh, we've got a couple different pedals we've got the the new brake pedal and then the the clutch pedal and that stuff so that way when we get this mounted up in there then it'll we can check the geometry and make sure that it's in the right spot when we drill the holes and mount it to the firewall. So we'll do that next. All right, so here we have first off the uh, Silver Sport transmission. It's rated for 600 horsepower, 600 foot pounds torque, and uh, it's cut for uh, E body and late B body. It's got a perfect fit case where they machine some of the case so that you don't have to cut into the um, firewall. And uh, it's got an STX short throw, smooth, quiet shift uh, mechanism in there. Okay, so I'll run through these other parts here pretty quick. We've got our um, cross member, Mopar E, plate B body, rubber transmission mount. And then uh, this is a uh, transmission backup light with connector. We've got transmission to bell housing hardware rubber mount to cross member hardware cross member frame hardware there's all kinds of hardware packs in here quarter mount spacer speedometer um, connection hardware 
uh, that's uh, that stuff there includes um, clip locks and stuff like that. We got shifter lever hardware packs, half inch mount spacer. We got an E body offset shifter uh, hardware. Then there's a uh, lube pack there, clutch alignment tool. We have a um, aluminum small block bell housing. I've already worked on that. We kind of did the alignment pins and stuff on that thing. And then the cover hardware, all that stuff is here. It's a steel steel cover for it. Moving over here, we got a McLeod Racing steel flywheel for a uh, driver's side starter Gen 3 Hemi. There's a flywheel bolt set there. And then up here, we've got the uh, McLeod Super Street Pro Clutch bolt hardware kit. So, uh, that's in there. And we've got the complete hydraulic clutch actuator system for the uh, Mopar E body, B body, SST, Tremec, TKO, TKX 5 speed. That's um, all the stuff there. We got pedal connection, all other hardware, a bunch of stuff in there. And so this is the part that I really wanted to get to here reproduction pedal set for the uh, 7074 Mopar E body. Includes brake and clutch pedal, kingpin housing, pedals, pads, hardware and uh, all the uh, instructions for installing it. So I wanna get that stuff in there, that way I can mount up that gas pedal and it all lines up correctly. We've got a floor tunnel hump there that's gonna be for the uh, manual transmission. We're gonna have to cut out a space in the, uh, the floor right now. That's where that's gonna mount. And then we've got a reproduction pistol grip shifter. This thing's pretty legit right here. It's got the five speed markings on it. So we'll have a pistol grip in there, a shifter. And then we got the boot, boot kit, trim ring, all that stuff. So this will sit down inside. And then if we want to put the uh, center console over the top of it, then we can do that. So there's some other parts in here. High temp hydraulic fluid, break-in fluid, and stuff like that, but that's the majority of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting these um, pedals and stuff mounted, and that way we can cut into this um, gas pedal and get that thing mounted. And then uh, that'll be uh, done. That'll be our next project here. All right, so I got this uh, gas pedal cut. I uh, went ahead and lopped it off there and we got it mounted up to our uh, gas pedal for the uh, engine kit. Cut this bad boy off here. So this is, that's about the geometry of what it would have been before. So it changed up the geometry a little bit. And um, I put the U-bolt through here I drilled into the uh, pedal there. I'm gonna cut these off and then I'll, I'll cut this straight here and then I'm gonna PRC all this in here. It's like a, like a sealant, but it's got a pretty good, it doesn't, doesn't twist. So that's that and obviously clean all that up, but I got the uh, brake pedal, clutch pedal in. I'll show you that uh, alignment with, with this guy on the firewall. And then uh, that'll be it for today. All right, so inside the car, we've got the bracket mounted up there. Let's see if I can, this is the bracket holding the post. That's the new post through there. 
the uh, clutch pedal. There's a bumper there. And then the brake pedal just basically goes in the same spot, except obviously it's a smaller pedal. So that goes up there in the same place. And then we'll have to probably re-rig the, that's the uh, brake light there. So when you press on it, it comes off the brake light. And there's our original holes there for the gas pedal. And I think that I could use the lower hole down there. And if I mount this up like that, that's about what I get there. So, um, possibly might have to move it over a little bit, but, or maybe angle it just a little bit. Hmm. I'll have to take the measurement again and see, but when this guy is up, about flush as far as how far they stick out it's just the alignment the alignment on this guy yeah that might be okay way over there I'm not sure so when I measured it before before I took off the uh, gas pedal I just lined it up there. It was about 3.258, so that's close. And then when I hold this up to the hole up here, the gap in between is, it's right about the same, almost exactly the same. So I kind of like this uh, location of where it's at. I don't know about the height from the bottom. Uh, I'll have to look at my other picture. This looks like it's probably... bottom just under just under halfway down the gas pedal for the brake pedal and so what I'll do is I'll cut this flush here and then uh, I'll PRC this all in I'll cut these off you won't even be able to tell that that it um, that it's been modified the only other thing I can imagine is this might be a problem right here for the fuse box. So there's a chance I might have to tip this, tip this out a little bit, but we'll have to see. Maybe I can get that fuse box up there and measure that out. All right, so that's the uh, gas pedal modification, the uh, brake and clutch pedal install, and then some of the uh, transmission parts that were included in the kit i think next i'm going to start pulling this carpet out get the um, shifter mechanism and stuff taken apart start getting ready to cut a hole for the um the the hump for the new manual transmission shifter and uh we'll catch up with you guys soon mm -hmm.